Hello, welcome back to Street Cred Sudoku, where our two teams are trying to prove that they're so streetwise they don't need a map. And so, on to our next round, trend spotting. In trend spotting, we look at all the things the public are currently following on the web. Which buzzwords that people are keying into their search engines? Robin and Rod, it's your turn first. We've noticed that in the last year, there's been a rising interest in minor human bodily problems. Have either of you ever had any minor bodily problems? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had any problems at all, Robin? Um, I once got a, a, a bit of eczema that came up in the uh, face of, of Gregory Peck. <laughs> uh, and then James Mason on the other arm, oh. and Laurence Olivier down the back, and I used to be able to do eczema-fighting versions of uh, Boys from Brazil. Yeah. All you have to do is place the following problems in order of most searched on the web, and they are acne, Halitosis and body odour, or B.O. People don't generally know when they've got halitosis or body odour, do they? Do they? Acne, they know, don't, don't they? So I, think they might, if I, I don't know why I'm looking at you, Rufus, on this one. <laughs> this is how it happens when you've got halitosis. Somebody goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> you stink. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? That's how it happens. See, yeah. you, you, have to t you, know, you don't have so to pass a note to somebody saying, you've got acne. Well, let me ask yeah. you then. Well, just, <laughs> just, you just hold think, a mirror like that. Which do <laughs> you think is the most common, then? I think acne's the most common okay, because so you know you've got first. it and there's no, there's no denial. OK. I th yeah, I think acne, acne first. halitosis and body odour. Oh, we've got to put the other two in order. Yeah, um, do you reckon halitosis and body odour? Acne Why not? first. Well, the actual answer is B.O., halitosis, and then acne. Yes, the most commonly sought after problem was body odour. And before anyone says the research stinks, for an extra point to either team, which individual country had the most hits for B.O.? Austria. What did Germany. you say? Austria. Australia. Australia. Australia is the answer. Uh, I'll give you a I'm point for that. Come on, the What do you say, Australia? <laughs> Rufus and Rob, it's your turn now. Uh, we've also noticed that Viagra is still popular on the internet, but can you list these British cities in order of most web searches for Viagra? They are London, Birmingham and Manchester. It Where's must be from? really hard to get it up in Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> You're up here. Yeah, it's miserable, it's ugly, and that's just the city. <laughs> 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 um, so, you know, that's coming straight into the front of my mind. I like to think of Birmingham... Yeah. To, to try and reduce an erection. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 oh, either that oh, or think... Oh, yeah, Bullring shopping centre. Yeah, yeah, Bullring shopping centre. Bullring shopping centre. Oh, refit. <laughs> Are you saying Birmingham <laughs> is first? I don't know. I think, you think uh, I, do you know, it's, it's sort of impossible to tell. There's a lot of people think, in London. There's a lot of people in London. Oh, well, maybe you just go with the... Uh, as a cross-section of the population. Are there... There doesn't, yeah, there's they're pretty cross. They can't get it up. There's not older... Really, yeah, it's not like Bournemouth. There's a lot of old people, or Eastbourne, there's a lot of old yeah, people. Yeah, no, yeah, they're, 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 they're so kind of great. So there's good cross-sections there's all no, of them, so go with population. So what are you going, what's first? We'll go with population. First on your list London, is... London, Birmingham is Britain's, uh, England's second city. London, Manchester Birmingham, Manchester. Manchester. You're going London, Birmingham, Birmingham Manchester. and Manchester. Oh. Well, the correct order I was looking for was Birmingham, Manchester and London. That's what we said. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Birmingham beats Manchester, though competition was stiff. The fewest number of searches was in Glasgow, and let's face it, they're hard enough already. <laughs> at the end of that round, it can only mean one thing. It's time to have a look at the grid. And the grid tells me Robin on three points, but catching him up with two points is Rufus. We're going. That's the way going. Time for our next round, Don't Quote Me. Our next round is called Don't Quote Me, where we look at bookish offerings of two mystery celebrities. Can our panellists identify the famous authors from the nuggets we've picked from their autobiographies? Robin and Rod, your mystery author first, for a maximum of three points. This person was involved in an incident which left him so exhausted that his legs were numb for four days. It's Brian Harvey. <laughs> Terry Waite. <laughs> Who did you say? Terry Waite. It's not. This is your second clue for two points. <laughs> this person's world <laughs> changed forever after a visit from a magnificent being. So it's going to be a cyclops, probably. It's someone who's seen a cyclops uh, or perhaps Cerberus at the gates of hell. Do you reckon that could be one of those two? I'd say it's almost certainly one of those two. It's not. Let me give you your... Is it a Blue Peter presenter? It's not. We know. We know. Here's your last we clue. We don't care if you're not. For just one point. His first TV job was reading tea leaves. Right, so, oh, right, so, uh, uh, you're t was it a magnificent being? So, a corpulent being? 
great big wobbly corpulent being on Celebrity Fat Club. No. It wasn't Russell Grant. <laughs> it wasn't Russell, Russell Grant. Grant. Russell, Russell Grant came to the time where I live and awarded our chip shop the best fish and chip shop in Britain. <laughs> Is he good fish and chips there? Uh, I don't know. Been, no, he did that in every town yeah. he went to. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't. Do you want to get this for free? Sure, let me try again. How <laughs> cynical is that? There's a picture of him. He signed it and everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just, There's that, one in my chip shop where you grew up. Did he do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Robert, you like it? No, he didn't. Stop jumping on my story. Everybody in the audience has Russell Grant been there with the certificate. Yeah. He's been in my kitchen. Your final answer is... Uh, Russell well, Grant? So it's not Russell Grant. You don't need No, hang on. What, can we sum up? Don't so, ask me if I think so, it's Russell Grant. No, can you help? Can we uh, sum up? Yeah, he's he's okay. crossed the river sticks, his legs were numb for four days, and what else? He oh, and he started out reading tea leaves. job was reading tea leaves. Is it Derek Akora? The correct answer is Derek Akora! Yes! Well done. <laughs> I hate that man! <laughs> Wilkerson, what your first clue for maximum points? Ooh. Working on a lowly paid job, this person's main regret was that it took five days to pay for dinner at the Ivy. What are you going to the bloody Ivy for? Yeah, it's well, there's a really good chip shop in Rod's town. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In every town. Oh, in every town, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's really it's why, be, <laughs> why would you? Why would you go for dinner at the Ivy if it took yeah, five yeah, days, pretend, unless you were a bit of a pretend... Pretend famous. Pretend that, why would well, you regret it as well? Why would that be your biggest regret, not paying for food? Yeah, your biggest regret would be that you're an idiot with your priorities all out of whack. Right, you're very close to the answer. It was the winner, Ivy Michael there, Winner. Right? It's not Michael Winner. This is your second clue for two points. Yeah, it's much better. This than person than can't understand how anyone can have a social life if they have to get up before midday. Stringfellow. Is it Naomi Campbell? No, because you wouldn't have gone to the Ivy. No, she wouldn't have worked. She can't go out before ten o'clock. I think I should have said Stringfellow because Stringfellow's right around the corner from say the it, Ivy. Say it. About five minutes. Say, well, say it. Rufus, say it. You're setting me up, aren't you? No, yeah, OK, it's our answer. No, it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Your third clue for one point. She loves tiaras, toy Barbies and tiny little dogs. Chantel. Chantel. No. no. Oh. Do you want to uh, give you a clue? Yeah. My, uh, her name is, uh, is also a name of a giant hotel chain. Paris Hilton. Hilton. Is the right answer! Oh, I said that! End of a clue, isn't it? Yeah, uh, I said that. that! Yes, indeed, this riveting read of the life of a very rich and lucky girl. There's also an autobiography excerpt from her dog, Tinkerbell, raising the standard of writing considerably. In the book, Paris shows she's just not a pretty face. She's also a spoiled brat as well. Isn't the phrase, she's not just a pretty face? Yes. As opposed to, she's just not a pretty face. <laughs> yes. right. Let's have a look at the grid and check the scores. <laughs> and I can reveal the scores at the moment are... Robin has got four. Rufus has got three points. Yeah, all very close. <laughs> Time for our final round, <laughs> our survey said. <laughs> our survey said is where I reveal statistic and our panellists must tell me what that refers to. So, fingers on the buzzers. Ah. Here we go. 60% of men admit to doing what in public? <laughs> yeah. Jane Goody. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Jake Goody. Bobby? Is it singing the songs of Chris Christopherson in a low vibrato voice? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, sorry, Neil Diamond. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, nice. <laughs> Is it Bob? picking their nose? It's not. I'll give a clue. Go on. Oh, go on then. Is it being John Malkovich? No. <laughs> <laughs> spitting. It is spitting. Well done. 25% of workers in the food and drink industry are what? <laughs> Rob? Obese. It's <laughs> <laughs> not the right answer, Rufus. Unnecessarily offish. Ah. <laughs> no. Um, hiding Bobby. the secret cannibal nature of the fast food outlets that they work for. It's not the right oh, answer. Oh, come on, we all know there's a human eye in them burgers. <laughs> what, <laughs> was there is? what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll give you the green. answer, and then when it's back on telly, watch it, and then you'll know. All right, I don't think I get this channel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the answer is age 16 to 19. 80% of Brits believe in a total ban of what? <laughs> that was wrong. people stopping them in the streets and asking stupid questions. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the right answer. Robin? Um, is it cockfighting unless the cocks are dressed in traditional costumes? <laughs> no, it's not the right answer. What? The other 20%. <laughs> <laughs> so the answer I was looking for was fireworks. Next up, the under 30s make up to 60% of what? The under 50s. <laughs> 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 K 
canned drinks. <laughs> the under thirties make up to sixty percent of what? Canned drinks. Yeah. yeah. Who here hasn't worked in an iron brew factory? I think you'll find <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> We're all over thirty. <laughs> Bankruptcies is the answer I was looking for. Yeah, that's just turning the word mean. Is that a word? It is now bankruptcy. <laughs> <laughs> Next question is the average person's left hand does fifty six percent of their what? <laughs> Be very careful now, Rob. Scratching. <laughs> it's not. <clears throat> Rob? Juggling. It's not. <laughs> of the overall contribution of both their hands to everything they do. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the answer, it's typing. Ah. Typing. Last question is the average driver will do what 15,250 times in his lifetime? Go Jane Goody. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, time's up. No, the no. answer I was looking for give was clue, give clue, give honk <laughs> their horn. Honk their horn! Time is ah. up. A quick check of the scoreboard tells me that the winner this week... Is no one, it's a draw. Is <laughs> neither, because both teams what? have finished on four points each, everyone. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> right, thanks to Robin Inchins and Rod Gilbert. Oh, and thanks to Rob Deering. If you were playing at home, then this is how your grid should look round about now. There you go. Mm. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you next time on Street Grid Sudoku. Bye for now. <laughs>